Hey guys, it's Chris here. Today we're going to be checking out a fire sprinkler installer. Um, yeah, not much to say. It looks like a pretty good job. Now let's go ahead and check out the video. We're the sprinkler fitters of the United Association of Journeymen and Apprentices of the plumbing and pipe fitting industry. And we're looking for young men and women like you who see more more ways to preserve and protect the lives and property threatened by fire. Sprinkler fitters are the heroes behind the scenes, working to ensure that the potentially tragic consequences of fire never have the opportunity to become reality. Sprinkler fitters are the actual first responders to fire, and they help ensure that the fire is neutralized before it can spread. We are proactive firefighters, working in advance to battle fires daily through the careful design, installation, and maintenance of some of the world's most complex sprinkler systems. We preserve, protect, and sustain life and property. That's why we exist. And we want to know if you see more and have what it takes to be part of our team. Alright, that video was just way too hype. This is almost like... What it, the job is actually kind of like um, before it's like, oh, this job is so sweet. Now it's like, this is really what it's like, just cleaning crap out of sprinklers or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, let's stop it right there. And uh, basically, I just wanted to go ahead and jump into the pay. Because, like, why are you even watching this video if this job doesn't pay enough, right? So, um... Yeah, this is saying sixty-two to hundred-two thousand dollars. This was a glass door, and um, I got some other people from Reddit, um, seeing what they are putting their own pay, how much they say they make, and uh, a couple other sites. But yeah, I mean, obviously this is a pretty good job, sixty-two to hundred-two thousand uh, dollars. That's pretty great pay, especially um, for how lax it looks. Right? It looks like basically just putting some pipes together or whatever. And it's like it's almost like being a plumber, but it's above ground. You don't gotta stick your hand in people's crap and crawl in crawl spaces and stuff, right? So uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty good. And then you know you see the girl in there in the last video. You saw the girl. You know, a little quick tip for you: uh, if ever you see a trade job, some blue collar girl or a blue collar job, and there's like girls working in it, you can say or you can bet that's a that's a a good job. I'm not saying it's like super easy, but I'm saying you could probably do it till you're 60 years old because like you know you don't see a lot of girls putting up drywall right and that's because you know drywall is going to break you down in like 10 15 20 years you're going to have back problems and it's not something you're going to be able to do till you're 60 70 years old you're not going to be able to put up drywall till you retire right but like whenever you see a girl working in some of these careers it's probably something you can do till you're like old you know not you know call me sexist or whatever but uh that's just that's that's my indicator i use to pick a good trade job all right, and then here we have the. This is just like Google's AI, like whatever. I don't know. I typed in like how much sprinkler fitters make, and it like generated sixty-three to one hundred six thousand dollars a year. I don't know what they're pulling those numbers, but they look good to me. Let's see, and then this is a job posting in Denver, Colorado, forty-five dollars to forty-nine dollars an hour, uh, with good benefits. Um, a lot of these jobs, uh, when you apply to them, basically from all the Reddit posts and stuff I looked at, you want to be part of a union. Uh, I think it's like that with a lot of, you know, jobs or whatever, but being part of a union is definitely the way to go. You get paid big bucks going that way, and I think they're readily available for this sort of work. Uh, another job posting in Spokane, Washington for 25 to $42 an hour. Benefits, good, good. This is a Reddit post. Um, this guy lives in Kansas, what is it, Kansas City, Missouri or something. 82K last year. Um, didn't do a lot of overtime. $40 an hour. He's in a union. Uh, this guy lives in Canada, making 100K a year. He's a licensed pipe fitter. Um, he's saying 100K is pretty much the standard. So, that's good. Uh, guy's in Hawaii. Journeyman pipe fitters make around 150k a year. Um, take home is around 90k. So yeah, this is just you know a guy doing the job, I guess. He's uh, it looks like it's just connecting pipes together. You know, it doesn't look like some kind of crazy 
back breaking work, you know, crawling around, you know, I crawled around in crawl spaces for five years. Uh, that sucked. And I worked outdoors, in the sun, um, in the rain, in the storms, like working outside isn't the best, but you know, you're not putting up fire sprinklers, you know, outside in trees or whatever. You're putting them indoors. Uh, you know, if you, you know, any commercial building you go into with, uh, or like apartment complex, you know, you look up, there's going to be fire sprinklers. Someone put those in. It's, uh, these guys, apparently it's a pretty, like, really in-demand job, because like I said, I mean, a lot of buildings, you need them in every building, especially after 9-11, and, uh, you know, things like that, they really crack down on these fire codes. Yeah, I don't know, basically, super in-demand job, this is just a little, uh, career path for fire sprinkler installers, um, you can, you know, go up to project manager, superintendent, or foreman, so it's not like you're, you need to be stuck at being a fire sprinkler installer, even though... I mean, it looks like a pretty chill job. Um, but yeah, these guys aren't making, these guys aren't doing some kind of crazy backbreaking work. They're, you know, standing up. You know, yeah, you got to put your hands above your shoulder. You know, maybe you got to go up like this and, and put the pipes together and stuff. But, you know, just, you know, work out a little bit. You know, take care of yourself. It's not, it's not backbreaking work. It's something you can do for a long time. And they're super in demand, like I was saying. And, uh, because nobody really knows about them, but they're needed like all around America and all these buildings that go up. You need fire water, or you need uh, these sprinkler installers, and then once they're installed, you still need someone to maintain the system. So all these commercial buildings, they all have sprinkler systems. They all need someone to maintain them. But when you're in high school or college, no one's talking about being a, a fire sprinkler installer. You know, no one talks about that. I've never heard. I didn't hear about it till like a couple days ago. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just, it's, it's one of those things you should look into. Pay looks very good. Um, benefits, uh, part of a union. It's like part of the, I don't know if the government, I don't know who pays you. Um, to, I don't know if it's like private companies or if it's like state companies, depending, like if you're putting, if you're building like schools or whatever, like who's, who's paying, are you working for the state? Are you working for the private sector? Uh, I, I guess private sector, I don't know. But anyways, get part of a union. That's the way to go. And um, yeah. I don't know. Now, if you have any comments or, you know, someone who does this, feel free to leave a comment and uh, tell me what you think.